My HVAC guys just came out to hook up my mini split and they had to do this to make the connections. They had to cut holes in my nice new drywall for three of the six mini split heads that I'm putting in. I'm rehabbing a house all by myself that I bought for super, super cheap. And I'm sure you wanna follow this plot project. Please subscribe. So I decided to run all my own line sets and drain hoses for the mini splits that I'm putting into my house. And I thought I knew what I'm doing. But let me explain to you what actually happened here so that you can avoid making this mistake as well. I bought the Senville mini splits and it comes with this template that shows you uh, where the line sets and the drain line are gonna go out, tells you what size hole, and there's the option for both sides. Now, I just thought the option was based on whatever works best. What I didn't know is it's two different installation applications. The one on the right side goes straight out through the wall. So it's, uh, that's where the, the actual lines come out of the mini split. And if you're using that hole on the inside, your lines are supposed to go all the way out to the exterior, straight out through. The, if your line sets are running inside your wall, you're supposed to be using the one on the other side, on the left side of the mini split. And that's so that they can make the connection up in here behind the mini split. So you just lift the bottom out and they can make the connections and then push it back in. I went around and I made all my line sets come out to the right side of the, um, of the bracket. And so that was a huge mistake on my part. And the only thing that we could do at that point was to just cut a hole in the drywall so that they could make the connections here behind the wall. And even that isn't totally ideal because now uh, if you ever need to get to those connections, we're going to have to cut the drywall out again. But you live and learn and that's a part of being a DIYer. My HVAC guy is super nice about it, super nice to work with. And he had agreed to um, let me run the line sets and whatnot just because i like doing stuff myself it's not even always about saving the extra dollar as much as i like to know exactly how stuff is done and how it looks behind my wall so here's another one of the uh in one of the bedrooms once they kind of figured out exactly downstairs they ended up cutting two holes because they weren't sure exactly where it goes but basically they just cut a little hole and I'm going to have to go around patching some drywall, which is kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. And then in this room, they basically ended up just putting the mini split over on the other side. So I had figured on, uh, based on where my hole was, which is right here, I had figured on the mini split sitting on this side, which would be more centered in the room. And so they ended up just using. Uh, that hole and, and doing the connection the way that you're supposed to do it. Um, but now my mini split is way off center in the room. The only other mistake I made, which I don't even know what happened here, is this is in the, the master bedroom. Um, that one goes straight through and the connections are made in a closet in the back. And then I'm just going to cover it up with some trim back there but it got way, way off center. I had tried to center it between that window and this door because the headboard of the bed is gonna be there. Now it's way off center and I'm not really excited about that at all. But again, you live and learn and I like doing stuff myself. These patch jobs are gonna be fairly easy. It's not that big of a deal. It's just that in my mind, if I know that things could have been done better, then it bothers me. But anyway, that is your tip for the day for mini splits if you're trying to do something DIY. I do hope that you uh, benefit from seeing how I have uh, learned and failed in some ways and that you're able to avoid those same mistakes. Um, please do subscribe and find out how the rest of this job, uh, the rest of this project is going for me.
Enjoy your day and be blessed.